Guys, this is what this day is all about. Give it up for Team Anna and Iris. Wow. This is amazing. You know, this is Anna, this is her mom, Iris. Anna, the one thing that struck me, right? I was standing over by the steps and I see just a sea of black t-shirts. And I'm like, well, wow, that can't be just one group. This is one group coming out for you. Yes, 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 amazing. Talk to me about your experience with breast cancer. Okay, 2015, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. 2016, I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. So a year apart. A year apart, less than a year apart. She was February of 2015 and I was January of 2016. Um, yeah, she um, went through uh, chemo and radiation. Um, I went through chemo and I had a double mastectomy. I had to get the hysterectomy. And um, it's just been a journey, but a blessing because we had each other yes. to go through it with. Yes. Well, I was going to say, what was it like to experience that together? Yes, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I mean, if it wasn't for her being here for me, I don't know where I would be. I'm telling you, you have to have somebody to depend on, a shoulder, and this is my shoulder right here. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And look at this gigantic shoulder that you have yes. all around yes. you. Yes. Who is everyone here? So this is my mother. These are all my friends. This is my friend Janique. She's going through chemo right now. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. What does it feel like? You know, Iris was talking about having a support system. It looks like you have an incredible support system. That's been my go-to person. Wow. How does it feel to have someone so close to, to home that can relate? It feels great. I, I'm able to call on her and ask questions before anything happens. She let me know what's going to happen before it happens. Wow. You look absolutely sensational. Thank you. She is. You look absolutely sensational. And you are, I, I actually, I'm looking out at all of you and look at these faces. Look at these beautiful faces. Dennis, can we do a pan of the beautiful children? I just look out at you and I see... That emotion, I can't imagine what you're going through, but as I look out at all of you, I can feel what you're fighting for. I can feel why you're here, and I can't tell you how grateful I am to be able to meet all of you and show the world right now that this is what it means to fight for yes, one another. Yes, yes. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. You Keep can fighting. do it. It's strong. You gotta be strong mind-wise. Oh, my, my body and soul. That's yeah. all I got to Keep say. Fighting. For anyone out there who's been affected by breast cancer or, you know, maybe they haven't, what do you want people to know about the disease, one, and then two, what they can do? Um, as far as the disease-wise, pay attention to your body. Be your own best advocate. If something doesn't feel right, even if the doctor says it's not there with me, I found my own lump. They told me it was nothing. I, and I told them it was something. And I went and got a mammogram. Don't think you're ever too young to get breast cancer. It affects any and everyone. And everyone. I had a family history, and they still told me I didn't have breast cancer. But I kept fighting, and I was like, no, I feel a lump. And just be your best own advocate. Don't let anyone tell you, no, there's nothing wrong. Something is wrong go get a second opinion that's the best advice ever i can't tell you how grateful i am again let's take a look at this beautiful family give it up for team anna and iris and all the best to you you look absolutely gorgeous you guys are the example of how we must fight for a cure everyone we are live from the susan g Komen race for the cure this is what it's all about family